Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on working with audio in Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is brand new with the CS 5.5 release and provides audio power that we've never seen attached to Adobe Premiere before. If you're familiar with Soundtrack, you're already going to be familiar with Audition. What I want to show you today is the integration between Adobe Premiere and Audition and how we can work with audio in both applications. Oh, by the way, we have a brand new subscription service. All of our online video tutorials and webinars are now available via a subscription. For one low monthly price, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. To learn more about our new subscription service, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. What I want to cover today is to show you how to work with audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm using the CS 5.5 release because Adobe has done a lot of work to make the 5.5 release really compatible with Final Cut Pro 7, especially keyboard shortcuts. I'll show you how to round trip projects between Premiere and Audition, how to edit, spot sound effects, and mix in Audition and then send the final mix back to Premiere for integration as part of your project. And then we'll export the final project as a QuickTime movie. <laughs> That's a lot to get done in just a short period of time, but in fact we're going to go into a lot more detail. Before I tell you that, let me show you. This is the finished movie we're going to create. We've been working for the last six years or so on the design of an interplanetary extension of the Internet. What we'd like to do is to make the space exploration effort supported in the same way as we've been able to support communications terrestrially. So we're hoping, we being JPL, are hoping to have a Mars telecom orbiter in orbit around Mars around 2009 to support missions for the next decade uh, on the surface of Mars and possibly going to the outer planets. So that's the movie that we're going to create. Actually, the video part's done. What we're going to work on is the audio. Specifically, what I want to show you within Premiere is how to import audio files, how to target audio and video tracks, how to create split edits, how to edit audio-only clips, set volume and pan levels in a timeline, how to operate Premiere's audio mixer, which is far more extensive than the mixer that we see inside Final Cut Pro 7. Then we're going to switch over to Audition. I'll show you how to send a project to Audition, how to add sound effects, how to add fades, and something that's really cool, the ability to adjust fade shapes as you fade in or crossfade. Then we'll mix the final project in Audition, send it back to Premiere, build it into a finished movie, and export that finished movie as a QuickTime file. <laughs> that's a lot to cover in a very short period of time, so let's get started. This is Premiere. And what I've already built is I've already built our project. And take a listen. Already you can see several differences. One, the video is completely finished, but there's no sound effects. We can't hear Dr. Surf talking, and we can't hear the music. By the way, I need to mention that this is an interview I did with Dr. Surf in 2004. And I remain grateful to him for sharing his interview footage with us and Alcatel Lucent, who were the people that commissioned that recording to be made. Okay, so let's take a look at this project. I see that I've got B-roll of NASA footage of a variety of different space things. As I scroll down, we've got our talking heads on V1. His audio is on A1 and A2, although there's some missing audio here. I have some room tone to cover these gaps. And then I've got the music clip, which is down here, which is a piece of music from Smart Sound. Before you do anything with Premiere, the very first thing that you want to do is you need to change the keyboard shortcuts. So you switch out of the default keyboard settings for Premiere and into those that we already know, which is Final Cut. To do that, go up to the Premiere Pro menu, go down to Keyboard Shortcuts. Click on it, and at the top, this is the list of the keyboard shortcut sets. They have Premiere shortcuts, Media Composer shortcuts, and Final Cut shortcuts. I'm going to switch this to the Final Cut Pro 7 keyboard layout preset. All of the muscle memory and all the keyboard shortcuts that I've spent years memorizing inside Final Cut are now working exactly the same way inside Premiere. Click the OK button and we're back to Premiere. 